my channel. Um, today I'm going to do an Ipsy unbagging and I came in the mail recently about two weeks ago and I was really excited to get it so excited that I actually just busted into it and started using some of the products. So I thought this month instead of just showing you what I got, uh, I can give you some information on the products and what I've been enjoying and um, give you like a little mini review. I think that might be helpful. Um, First off, I want to welcome all my new subscribers. I really appreciate those of you who have um, are new to my family and uh, welcome. And if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, just click the red button below the subscribe button and click the bell button also so you can be notified of any videos that I up oh, upload. That would really help me out. And um, so let's just get started on what I have in this May Ipsy bag. First off, it came with this real cute bag, cosmetic bag, and it's plastic. And if you can see the details in it, it's popsicles and ice cream cones. So it's really adorable and fits the summer theme. This is definitely a summer bag. Um, it came with a little card that says uh, it has um, a pineapple on it. And it says, your summer story starts here. That's really cute. And um, let's just get started with what was in my bag this month. I really liked everything. I was really excited to see that I got a Urban Decay product. This is the packaging of it. It is a highlighter. It is the Urban Decay Afterglow 8-Hour Powder Highlighter in the shade Sin. And that's the packaging. I've already used it. And it's just a little um, sample and a uh, little tiny sample. But it is enough to, uh, of a sample that you can get a good idea of if you like it. It's about the, sh um, the size of like a eyeshadow. And um, I'll give you a... It's very creamy. Um, Urban Decay is a great quality brand and I really think this is a great highlighter. It's you know, very pigmented. It's just gorgeous. Um, if you use a light hand, it can be more subtle. If you pile it on, it's a little bit more um, um, of a sheen to it. And I, I have it on today, and I like it. I think you can wear it a little bit more on the natural side. So I, I really enjoy it. And the full size, I looked it up, the full size Urban Decay Afterglow um, is $26, and it's a much bigger, of course, the full size. And um, so if you're interested, I would recommend it. I love it. And I think even at my age, it doesn't really seem to accentuate any of um, my fine lines. You know, I don't. I do use it um, light-handedly. So I've really been loving it. I'm excited that they included an Urban Decay product in there. Um, okay, next we have a full-size lipstick. This is from a brand called called Mellow Cosmetics and it is really nice packaging it's like a pale um, beige or blush color with the gold I really like the packaging it's the bullet kind of reminds me of the MAC lipsticks and this is in the shade Nude and I'm wearing it today and um, it, I think it's a beautiful color I'll give you a little bit of a swatch it is um, a rosy nude and I think it would go with a lot of um, skin tones and this is their creamy matte lipstick and um, it retails on their website for $13 I was really excited that this looks like a full-size tube and it is a matte creamy matte and it kind of reminds it's very comfortable that's what I really like about it is it's not drying at all it says that it is infused with vitamin E so that probably is why it's so comfortable it retails for $13. I think this is a great price point. Um, so you might want to check out Mellow Cosmetics and um, try their their creamy matte. It's very long lasting. So um, I've been very happy with this and excited about that. Next, next I got this um, eyeshadow. It is a dual eyeshadow and it is from the brand called Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. And it is their super size, sorry, it is their super charged, super intense eyeshadow duo. And it says it's cruelty free, it has a little bunny on the back. And um, this is in the shade gold and a rose gold. And um, I'll show you it here. 
you can see it, it's more of a, um, of a glitter or metallic looking shades. Here are some finger swatches. I can build it, it they're very buildable. I, I have to build it up. I do a, a, a double swatch there. You can see it. And I, I've really been enjoying these. I'm wearing it in my look today on my eyes. And I, I, they're beautiful colors. I, you know me, I love rose gold. So that, that just like, you know, I love rose gold and I love gold. I think that uh, I had to use a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush to really um, intensify the shimmer. I love a shimmer shadow. I know some people my age just like matte. You do you. I mean, I think you can wear whatever you like. Um, I love using a shimmer on my mobile lid. I think it opens up my eye. These are beautiful colors, very creamy. Um, they have increased, um, not any fallout. So th those are all, all good points to it. Um, let me see. This it is, retails on their website, the Supercharged. Intense Eyeshadow Duo for $22, and it's cruelty free. I think when I looked on the website that the $22 product is the same size. I couldn't tell. It said it was two ounces and two grams, and this is two grams. So this is $22 for this size product. So I don't know for that size. I'm not sure if I would repurchase it because there's so many great um, eye shields at the drugstore. So I'm kind of on the fence in it. It's, it's not maybe as intense as I would have liked. I did have to use my um, matte fix. You know, with the, I had to wet it to get the, the amount of shimmer. But I mean, they are, it turned out beautiful and they are beautiful colors. And I'm just very fortunate it wasn't my, I think it's a good deal for, to, to receive in your Ipsy bag. So I do like it. I'm not sure if I would repurchase it. But I don't know if you all know, if you are a member of the Ipsy, if you have the subscription, when you go to maybe buy the product, um, if you click on the Ipsy website, there is a, a always like a discount. So I would have to see what kind of discount the Ipsy customers are getting on this. And if it, I would buy it if it was, you know, maybe not, not so expensive. But for $22, I'm not sure if I would repurchase this. Next, I got um, this little blush. It's from Peak Cosmetics. And it was kind of quite tiny. And I love the packaging. It's real cute. It's like a little tin. And you, you slide it. And it is a cream blush. And this is in the shade... Let me look. It is Peak Beauty, um, a metal matte, and a blue. And it is a very pretty pinky peach blush. It's right there. Um, and I'm wearing it. It's all I'm wearing on my for my blush today. I didn't tap it with any powder blushes. It's just a cream blush. Um, it says that it retails for twenty. I hope I'm getting this right. Twenty three dollars. I think I wrote twenty-three dollars down. I'm good. I'll annotate and when I uh, edit this if it is a, a different price. And I'm not sure how much bigger the full size is, but I do love the product. I don't own a lot of cream blushes. I like the NYX cream blushes quite a bit. I have um, some of those, and I have some of the Flower Cosmetic cream blushes. And I really do like this one. I've been using this, and I like it. It says that it is a cream to powder and I do feel like it is. I don't feel any kind of like sometimes you can feel like a little greasy when you wear a cream blush. Now this just it applies nicely. Um, I'd use it my fingertips and then I blend it in with my Elf Small Stippling Blush and um, it really applies nice. It lasts all day and I really enjoy it. I think a matte um, a cream blush like this is very a very youthful. Um, and you know, it doesn't settle so much like a powder um, blush does in your creases and lines. And um, I really enjoy this. I was really tickled to get it. And um, I, I might um, look into getting this in the full size. Love it. 
And the, my favorite thing that I got in my Ipsy bag was this um, new makeup brush. And um, I love when I get brushes in my Ipsy bag. This is actually my first um, brush. But um, I, you know, I'm always excited to try a new, a new brush. And this is the Luxie Beauty. Dream, Luxie Dreamcatcher, and it is the 660 Precision Foundation brush, and it's you know the um, like a periwinkle feral with the with the rose gold, so it is really pretty, and it is really soft. Um, it's made as a foundation brush, and I'm sure you could use it for a foundation brush. Um, I use a beauty blender for my foundation, so I hadn't really tried it. But I love this brush. I've been using it for many things. It's, I think it's a very multi-purpose um, brush, and I always like that type. I've been using it under my eyes for setting some of my concealer. Um, I actually been using it in the hollows of my. It's, it's tapered. It's like it has a little bit of taper. You can sh see how I can use the point to get into the hollows of my cheeks um, to apply some contour. And I actually think um, you can even use the tip um, to highlight. So it is a great little, um, it's a great brush. Um, and I'm sure you can use it for foundation if you use um, foundation brushes. So um, this retails on their website for $23. And of course, this is the, you know, the regular brush that's on the website. So it's to think that I got all these products for my $10. Um, so Ipsy is, I think, a great way to to try out new brands and I was actually a little bit hesitant thinking that Ipsy was going to be mostly maybe more geared to young people and I, I, I definitely I would say it doesn't. I mean I think they take that in consideration with their survey when they ask you your age. Every product that I have has just been very um, suited for me, for my skin tone, for my age range so I think they do a good job of that survey. Um, I'm really excited. I did, um, when I did the survey I asked for more makeup items than more um, skincare items. So that's up to you. Maybe um, you would like to try some of the skincare items. And then they provide you a discount code um, to use if you do buy something. So go check it out. I've really been enjoying it and I hope you found this um, video helpful and I uh, hope you're all doing well and thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate that you're taking time out of your day to watch me and my channel. Um, I just love it. I love all the support and the nice comments. I have the nicest subscribers. This is just a great beauty community here, the older beauty community. And um, I hope you all are doing well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.